All right, basically, uh, it's basically a buzzword now when people talk about AI. Uh, you know, it's there. It's up all there. But we, we'll focus more on digi digitization, as it were. Uh, around the world now, that's also something that everybody's moving into that particular era to digitize the world. Now, we're looking at how the digitization can spur economic growth. And I've got Preston here, who is a tech enthusiast and, of course, a business developer. It is great to have you. You are welcome. Hi. All right. So, um, I know... People are talking about how the digitization, it's all been going up around there, moving things. I mean, our banking is now digital. I remember the days when we don't have to, when we had to go to a banking hall, when you had to sign checks. I mean, I still remember when I had to go to check. I can't remember. Uh, I still have my checking accounts booklet. Oh. Uh, but I don't, remember, I don't remember when last I ever knew uh, how mm -hmm. to put a signature there. Now everything, nobody need, you don't need mm -hmm. to go to a banking hall except something serious. That's in the banking sector, mm -hmm. you know. But now it's something that the whole world is saying, look at in every aspect of life, in every aspect of economic growth, digitization is something that we have to, or it's, it's here already, mm -hmm. right? How important is that aspect, digitizing the economy, or as it were, or digitizing different sectors, of mm. the economy as it were. How important is it to, for Nigeria as a country to do that? Okay, so thank you for that um, question. So it's actually quite important because um, if we look at where the world is going now, you know, we're moving away from, you know, a lot of the way we should do things, especially, you know, when you use fossil, fossil fuels. Fuels, yeah. And, um, you know, just moving away from analog ways to more digital ways yeah. of doing and accomplishing things. So there are different ways we could get into this. So, you know, like you mentioned, in the, in the world of finance, we have a lot of fintech companies now where, you know, if you, um, sure if you go a lot of, if you go to most um, businesses now, a lot of people have, you know, their money points, all these yeah. um, new fintechs. New fintechs and all of that. Yeah, so it just shows how um, helpful and how they could grow the economy and how easy it is to use, you know, how they provide solutions. So fintech is one, so, but then there are a whole lot of other aspects where this decision comes in. You know, we could speak about entertainment, mm. you know, you mentioned platforms like um, Netflix, you see how, oh, exactly. uh, yeah, if you see how traditional cable is going out of fashion, exactly. it's more into cinema as it were, exactly, more into subscription based, you know, you know, uh, we could mention Showmax. Mm. So all those comes into this decision of the economy. So you look at the entertainment the movie industry, you can mention them, show marks. Look at finance, you mention um, fintechs like OPA, all those. So the whole point, excuse me, the whole point I'm trying to make and what I'm trying to advise and where we should all be looking at is how we could um, implement this in all aspects. So me, I'm from the Niger Delta region, you know, okay. knowing that... Um, uh, most uh, most of our revenue in Nigeria comes exactly from 80 to 90 percent of our economy is all mm. based as it were. How is it so much? And it's something that we look at. Look, it's something. Oh, how how can we digitize that space? How how is that even possible? Yes. Yeah, so um, so by one thing now is education. Education is very key because okay. um, it's one thing to digitize the space, but then how do you do it? You know. Mm. So education plays a big role. So right now. What we're actually looking at doing is um, creating, we already have a summit planned mm. um, for, you know, August 29th. There's a summit planned where we, what we intend on doing is bringing like minds together. Then so we could discuss, we could have, okay. um, um, what do you call it, workshops where, you know, things like coding. So coding is very important. When you speak about AI, okay. coding and programming is very important because that's where you actually teach or you write the code where, the computer is then able to learn and then do stuff that we try to, the normal stuff that we do as humans the computer is able to do it for you so coding is one thing so having um, um, boot camps and like um, challenges coding challenges to you know for people to then learn the skill and then you know harness this skill is important in digitization then you also have um, um, the conversation so our summit is going to be based off of having the conversation on how we could decide the economy you look at um, content creating and social media. A lot of our young people do that right now. Everybody is doing content creating. That's an aspect of digitization because yeah. traditional marketing usually used to be you go out, share tracks, you know, but now you don't really need to do all that. You have your social media, you do some content, upload it. People see it, they're, oh, okay, they tie into the brand, whatever you're advertising. 
and you know you get revenue with whatever brand it is gets revenue from just that content mm. so um, it's part of what we're looking at, you know, looking at entertainment, content creating, looking at education, teaching people how to actually use these systems. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so doing all this helps move away from just focusing on, because all this bring revenue back to the... Back to the... You, you know, you mentioned something about coding and all of that. Now, we have to, we're going to a point whereby people will even tell you that you have AI bots who would even code for, code for you. you. Exactly. You know, so why, why, why the need for someone to go learn coding, as it were, if... AI can do it. If AI can do it. So that's, a, that's actually a very good question. So I've looked at that myself. Um, so it's one thing, so if you, if, if you have heard about ChatGPT, yeah. it's one thing to know ChatGPT is AI that you know, answers any question you ask it. But there's another thing which people underlook. It's actually the prompt. So if you, were, you have to understand that AI is not a human being. Now we're speaking, yeah. And we could, you know, speak fluently and obviously because of how advanced you are as a human, really? you could understand me. But when it comes to AI, there's a way to prompt it. There's a way to go about it. That so way that's where prompt about. engineering comes in. Exactly. That's where prompt engineering comes in. Too. So you need to then, this which is obviously the summit also addresses, having people discuss about more prompt engineering, having people learn how to actually prompt AI systems. To give you what it To requires. give you what you want, how to utilize AI systems, because it's, and also how to create AI systems, because, you know, mm. you should understand that AI is actually at the base level right now. This is, it is level it is, zero. It is. So it the is. more people we have in Nigeria and our economy that know how to create these systems, the um, better it is for the economy, because this is. is what... ChatGPT was created by somebody. It yeah. wasn't created by AI. It was created by a human. So a if human. we have more people in our nation doing this type of stuff, so it helps the nation in you general. Know, when you look at films, uh, looking back, when you look at films like iRobot and the rest, mm. would there ever be a time when AI gets to the point whereby they have, um, they are autonomous in such a way that they can make decisions on their own and even create themselves? You mentioned that, yes, ChatGPT was created by somebody else. Mm. And AI create, get to the point whereby it has learning much. Because the, the, the issue here is constant learning, yeah? Mm. And you, like you said, can it get to a point where AI can create another version of itself? Of itself? Well, so you could, get, you could go down the rabbit hole of how that yeah, happened. Yeah, it could be quite a rabbit hole and all <laughs> yeah. of that. But what I'm saying is that as humans, uh, is there any way we're trying to checkmate things like that ever yeah, happening? Yeah, so that's where um, regulations comes in, you know, government okay. bodies come in. Mm. So, and this is also, this is also, it's a controversial um, point of view, but it's also where what I feel limits AI at this point because there are a lot of, um, you know, there's a platform called Hugging Face. You go on Hugging Face, you see a lot of different AI you know, codes have been written by people, software apps that do different sorts of things. But the regulation is important because it's one thing having this powerful um, software that could do anything, but it's another thing being able to regulate it so it doesn't get out of hand. Because right. if you look at AI sort of computers, if you if you go deep down, what you're saying is it gets to a point where AI can create more AI software for himself. Right. It then looks at the grand scheme of things. Why do we really need humans? Need so, humans, exactly. exactly. That's so, where. Okay, so all of these people can get to learn at the summit and get mm -hmm. to understand how they can be a part of the part digital of era. Yes. Well done, person. Thank you very much yeah. for all of that. And uh, yeah, I hope people can uh, uh, learn more or get to uh, learn from that particular source. Yes. Well done. Okay, that's Thank fine. you. Thank all right, well, that's it on our tech discussion this morning. We'll take a time and I'll stay with us. We'll be back after this.